Welcome. We're excited to have you here with us. Um, today is the second Sunday of Advent. It is called the Sunday of Peace. Please stand for the invocation. Gracious and Holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, intelligence to understand you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to see you, Amen. a heart to meditate on you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> remember the birth of Christ, the first Advent or coming. We think about the Christmas story, but Advent isn't just preparation to remember a past moment. It is also a season when we look forward in peace to the second Advent or coming of Christ. Amen. With the early church we say, come quickly Lord Jesus.
sound in this church today it's wall to wall amen music Today we light the first and second candles of the Advent wreath. Each candle has a meaning. The first candle is hope. <clears throat> the second candle is peace. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. Let's pray. Almighty God, you offer rest for our hearts and peace for our souls. Give us grace to seek peace in our lives. Yes peace in this community, and peace in the world. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. 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 Please turn in your hymnal to page 163. We're going to sing the first and last verse.
continue the service. We ask you, Lord, that you would speak to every heart. We ask you, Heavenly Father, that you would surround us with your presence. And Lord, this morning, um, just this morning, we've received word of some folks that need a touch from you. We pray that you would be with Paul as he's suffering with shingles. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would be with our dear friend Pat down in Harrisonville that's suffering with shingles and it's in our eyes. And Lord, we pray that you would be with others that I'm sure are not feeling well this morning. Lord, you are the great physician, so we ask that you would touch them and bring healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we do pray that you would be with others who are traveling and working, and we ask, Lord, they would know their brothers and sisters are praying for them. Now, Lord, take over this service. It belongs to you, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we have some amazing musical guests this morning, but right before that, we're going to do a few announcements. There will be a potluck following today's service, and we invite everyone to stay and enjoy. It smells amazing. <laughs> yeah. There will be no church board meeting this month. Next Sunday, December 12th, following morning worship, we will take a gift and go caroling to the homes of some of our members who have health challenges, just like we did last year, and that was a, a blast, and they loved it, and we loved it. Um, also, the NMI Council is collecting coats and winter attire for True Light Mission and Church, located on 39th Street in downtown Kansas City. Mark your calendars. There will be a Christmas Eve, ser a Christmas, Eve Christmas carols and candles service at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve. We will receive an offering that night to support the Weston Ministerial Alliance. Would our ushers, ushers please come forward? We will at this time receive our regular tithes and offerings. And if you received a blue card this morning, if you will put that in the offering plate, please. Gabe, would you please pray for our offering this morning?